Hi, I'm out here in the beautiful Rocky Mountains of Colorado and I'm just looking for a few plants and identifying and I thought I'd show you a few that I found out here. So these aren't the greatest specimens but they're very typical of what you might find out in the wild. This is a mullein plant. You can see by my leg here, it's about knee high. They actually get like six feet high or higher and they also grow lower. You can tell a mullein plant uh, mostly because of its soft leaves and its stalk here, which has yellow flowers when it's in bloom. Those yellow flowers are used for earaches, and the leaves are used as an expectorant or as an emergency toilet paper if you're in the woods. It's one of the plants that's safe for that. And ages ago, they used to uh, pick the bigger stalks and wrap them up with a cloth and then dip them in animal fat and use that as a torch. So an old nickname for this plant was torch plant. But... Uh, I call it mullen. I have smoked mullen. It's popular as an expectorant and you can also make a tea. It used to be kind of one of the standby herbs that everybody kept around and used. It's not as popular these days, but it still is used. I see lots of great things like that, like uh, wild geraniums down there, but I wanted to show you this other plant, which is Oregon grapefruit. Here's an example of it. You can see this red tinge. That's very common with Oregon grapefruit. You can tell Oregon grapefruit, which this is Colorado, obviously, but it's called Oregon grapefruit. These little blueberries are a telltale sign, but please don't be confused. There are other plants with little berries, and also these are not edible. I'm not sure if they're toxic or not, but they don't taste good, and I wouldn't eat them. I've never heard of a use for them, although there probably is. There's always a use for everything. But anyway, here's a really nice stand of Oregon grapefruit. This is a plant that in some um, places grows really tall. I've seen it even four or five feet tall. Maybe not quite five feet, but three or four feet tall. Isn't uncommon, but most of the time you'll find it like this, just a like an ankle high kind of shrub. It loves to grow at the base of ponderosa pines, which is what that is. And yep, let's see. I got one more thing over here I wanted to show you real fast. And those are some wild onions that I found. Although I keep losing sight of them. Here they are. <laughs> Here's some wild onions. Now this is a tiny little stand. It's the only ones I see, so I would never pick an herb if I only found a little of it like that. I would look for a stand of, you know, of significance where I, if I were going to take a little, dig a little up, it wouldn't stop it from regrowing the next year. That's an important aspect of wild crafting herbs ethically is you never want to take the mother plant and you want, never want to take from a stand where there's not very many. You want to make sure you find an area. Like here there is quite a bit of Oregon grapefruit. I might look around more if I wanted to harvest some. I wouldn't harvest much from an area like this because it's still pretty sparse. But if I was just using it for my own personal use medicinally, uh, Oregon grapefruit, I should mention, is used in place of golden seal a lot of times. Here's some more and you can see those berries here. Um, the root itself has a yellow substance in it called berberine, which is the same substance that is makes golden seal root yellow. And if you compare the two herbs, you can see that that Oregon grapefruit is less potent in berberine than golden seal by quite a bit. So it's less yellow and less bitter, but it is much faster growing and not an endangered plant, which golden seal is. So I, as an herbalist, I recommend using Oregon grapefruit instead of golden seal usually these days um, because Oregon grapefruit grows pretty much across this continent, probably other continents too. I haven't been to other continents yet, but I have seen Oregon grapefruit growing in, in most areas that I've been to, so it's a good one to use medicinally. And mullein is another one like that. It grows in most areas at various sizes, but once you know the plant, you can, you can get to know it and then use it. So Oregon grapefruit, great for viruses and bacterias, fighting off a cold or a virus. Um, you would use the powder, the root, either in a tea or a capsule or just chewed up. It might be good for some stomach ailments too a little bit because it's extremely bitter. And mullen, mostly used for the respiratory system, sometimes for the ears. So it's used as an expectorant um, to help cough up mucus and, and icky stuff out of the lungs. And it's also used, the, the flowers are soaked in oil and used as an earache remedy to help soothe the ache of an earache as well as do away with the infection in an earache. Those are a couple of herbs that I see out here off the cuff that I wanted to share with you. I hope you're having a great day. Bye.